Good morning, Grade Ones, Mommies and Daddies, and welcome to another Active Learning at Home Life Skills lesson. Let's get going. The topic is personal hygiene. Today we're going to learn about what personal hygiene is and how to keep our bodies clean and healthy. We'll begin this lesson with a poem. Let's begin. Personal hygiene means to keep yourself clean and healthy. Let's start with this poem. Are you ready? Ah, <gasps> tissue! Ah, <gasps> tissue! I have a terrible cold. I will use my handkerchief just as I'm told. It's rude and unhealthy to sneeze all around. Here comes another one. Ah, <gasps> tissue! Ah, <gasps> tissue! Good. Shall we do that one more time? Ah, tissue! Ah, tissue! I have a terrible cold. I will use my handkerchief just as I'm told. It's rude and unhealthy to sneeze all around. Here comes another one. Ah, tissue! Your mom was right. Good personal hygiene is essential to promoting good health. Personal hygiene habits such as washing your hands and brushing and flossing your teeth will keep bacteria, viruses and illnesses away. You should brush your teeth and floss every day, take a bath or wash yourself daily, cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze, Germs can travel far and wide on a cough or a sneeze. Wash your hands before you eat and after you eat. Wash your hands with soap after you have used the toilet. And dry yourself between your toes and fingers after washing. Let's look at some pictures. Can you tell me what each of these children are doing in the pictures? What is this girl doing? Very good. She's brushing her teeth. You must brush your teeth every morning and every night. You should also floss once a day. If you don't take care of your teeth, they will become rotten and the dentist will either have to pull them out or fix them. What is this girl doing? That's right. She's blowing her nose. If your nose is running or full, you should blow it with tissues or toilet paper. It is very rude to sniff the whole day. You should also not pick your nose with your fingers. What is this girl doing? Very good. She's cleaning her nails. Dirt and germs can sit under your nails and spread to everything you touch. This is why we should scrub them clean regularly. What is this girl doing? She's washing a fruit before eating it. This is important because germs and chemicals can sit on the skin of fruit. To avoid getting sick from those, wash your fruits thoroughly before you eat it. What is this boy doing? Very good. He is taking a bath. You should bathe or wash yourself once a day. If you don't, you will start to smell very bad and you can even get sick. What is this boy doing? That's right, he's using the toilet and the toilet paper. You should always use the toilet when you need it. Close the door to give yourself privacy. After you're done, use toilet paper to wipe yourself. This is important to stay clean. If you made a mess in the toilet or bathroom, you should always clean it up. Also, flush the toilet after you use it. Finally, what is this girl doing? Fantastic! She's washing her hands after using the toilet. This is super important. You need to wash your hands as soon as you're done using the toilet. If you don't, you will spread the germs from using the toilet to yourself and others and this can make you very sick. 
Good habits are the key to personal hygiene, as well as staying healthy. Look at the pictures and then answer the questions. You can pause here if you first want to look at the pictures. Okay. Number one. How often should you bath? Number two. When should you close the toilet door? Number three. When must you flush the toilet? Number four. If you mess in the toilet or bathroom, what should you do? Number five. When you're done in the bathroom, what must you do? Pause the video here while you think about these answers. Okay. Here are the answers. How often should you bath? You should bath or wash every day. When should you close the toilet door? Whenever you use the toilet. When must you flush the toilet? After you finish using it. If you mess in the toilet or bathroom, what should you do? You should clean up your mess. When you're done in the bathroom, what must you do? You should always wash your hands. A big part of personal hygiene is how you sneeze or cough. There are two ways to do this. The first way, cover your mouth and nose with a tissue while you sneeze or cough. Number two, cover your mouth and nose with the crook of your elbow. Never use your hands. This will spread your germs to other people and make them sick too. Let's end off this lesson with a poem again. Are you ready? Ah, tissue! Ah, tissue! I have a terrible cold. I will use my handkerchief just as I'm told. It's rude and unhealthy. To sneeze all around. Here comes another one. Ah, tissue. As a last fun thing to do after the lesson, practice how to cough and sneeze correctly. Don't be shy to tell someone how to do it if you see them do it wrong. Everybody should know.